Uh-oh. I guess that's why dining room benches are not made for working out. Welcome back to another furniture makeover. This is Serena from Thrift Diving, and that was not such a great idea, was it? Anyway, this bench has been in my dining room for the past four years since I found it at the thrift store for like $15. But you can see here it needed some TLC, and that's what we were going to tackle in today's video. Now, I was being a little lazy with this project. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on it. I just wanted to get it done. So I pulled out the belt sander and got a little aggressive with it. Maybe a little too aggressive, I admit, because there were some parts where I had a little bit too much wood removed. And so, you know, hey, it, it happens, it happens. So just be very careful when you're doing your own projects. Anyway, I was able to get all of that finish off. I love wood, I love natural wood. And so the look of natural wood with a painted body was kind of where I was going with this. I'd never used mocha color paint before, so that's what I was going to do for the base. And then the top, I was going to try to keep it light and natural. And so after doing the belt sander, I finished it off with a good 220 grit sandpaper to smooth it out. And it was looking pretty good, even just like this, right? So the paint that we're using for this project is Beyond Paint. You've seen my other projects where I'm using their products, and I love this paint. I'd never used mocha before, but the thing I like about the brand of paint is that I can put it on a small roller and get it done literally in probably about half as much time as it takes to paint with a paintbrush. So I poured it into the container and I was a little nervous at first. I'm not really a brown mocha kind of paint person, but I like to try new things. And so I thought, you know what, why not? Let's do the bench. It's not a drippy paint. It has, I like to call, you know, what it has is spreadability because it goes on very, very easily. And so if you're new to painting furniture, you can easily open up a can, open up a jar, just get this done really, really fast and I didn't have to do any kind of sanding or priming to the body of it. So I did wipe it down, cleaned it really good with simple green, and then I was able to just get started. But I have to tell you that I really was not sure what I wanted to do to the top of this bench. I knew that the base was going to be dark, so I wanted something light for the top, but I didn't want to use paint. I wanted to keep it natural as possible. So the whole time that I'm working on this, I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know what I want to do to this top. Does that ever happen to you with projects? You just don't know what the next step is? Well, this is one of those projects for me. So I've got paint all over my hands. I know I've got paint on my face. You know, when you kind of look down your nose, you can see like something on your nose. Anyway, this is a good place to stop. We have one coat of Beyond Paint on the base of this bench. It looks pretty good. I actually didn't know if I would like mocha, but I think it looks really, really good, really rich. So we'll get this project done tomorrow and I'm gonna go clean up. And I know I've got sanding dust all over my beautiful new do. And it was really, really cold the next day. I had to pull out the work gloves and move as quickly as I could just to get this thing done. Once I had two coats on it, it looked really good. I took it inside the garage, flipped it over, and then I could figure out, okay, what in the world am I doing with the top of this bench? The sanding left a lot of dust on this bench, so I had to use a tack cloth, wipe that all away before getting started on putting the top coat. Now, I already had some top coat in my garage and so I used what I had, but I love the look of taking a clear top coat and going right over natural wood. It just looks amazing. It brings out that natural color. And so it has a little bit of color. Now it's not gonna be like that orange color that it looked like before we started. So I love the way that it just brought out the beauty of the wood. So let me remind you, this is what the bench looked like before. It was very 1980s, it was orange wood. And after, it just looks so much more fresh and modern. It's got that beautiful paint on the body of it that looks black, but it's a mocha color. And then we've got this natural wood on top. It just looks really, really good. I love it. And if you can believe it, my husband said he likes it too, which for me is a big success. You know what's really hard about filming videos? in the winter time, 
your mouth is frozen. I literally can't talk. So I'm not even going to do an intro for this video. You're just gonna have to watch. It's cold out here. <laughs> and there is a plane that is making noise. This is the best part of filming outside is you got all the natural surroundings. You've got airplanes and cats sitting on the fence back there just video bombing you. And people doing construction and moving things. Oh yeah. So if you enjoyed this project and all of my crazy outtakes, be sure to go back to thriftdiving.com into your name and email and I will send you five eBooks printables and checklists just for subscribing and be sure to go to beyondpaint.com for more information about the paint and I will see you next project.